Greetings, folks. Falcon here. Time to continue our hard space ship breaker. No revival playthrough. Let's see what the ghosties want to do to us this time. Uh, we are sitting here at 916 million in debt with 5,300 links tokens, which we're going to be spending the hell out of when we hit rank 8. Uh, let's see. What else do we We only need five more work order objectives, so we should get that on this ship. Equipment wise, we need to repair a cutter. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything we need to buy before we do any of this wonderful stuff? So it should be pretty straightforward. There's an audio there. It might be a little low. How's this? A little better there? That seems a little bit higher there. Okay, we'll go with that. See how it goes. It's a little difficult to tell sometimes. Let's see. Okay, we got all that stuff. This is 350 for the recharge module. And a thousand for that. I just, you know what? I never use the damn thing. It's like I never, my first thing I do is unpressurize everything. I don't want explosive. You know, that sounds bad. Explosions are bad. Don't do explosions. Um, I think we will go ahead and get the fuel capacity upgrade just because I'm not sure why, but uh, the completionist in me likes having all those things filled in. Okay, modular cutter. We will go ahead now. There's no point in changing that. Grumble. Anyway, um, okay, so we're all set. We've got no data to recover. We're moving along on our, like I said, we've got five more work order objectives. And messages, we've done all the shipbreakers. Go ships. Colloquialism and takes no responsibility for non corporal entities encountered aboard these vessels. Exactly, don't want to do that. And stickers, you know, because stickers are important. Uh, so we're getting there. Um, class 1 reactors. We're going to have to do some mackerels if we want to get those. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's happening in the ship catalog. Uh, 13, 6, 14, 3, 14, 7, and 14, 6. Let's go for the... F let's see. These all look to be about the same. This is probably... Let's go for this ghost ship, because ghost ships are kind of amusing. Uh, well, I don't know. There's a part of me that wants to. Salvage runner, heavy cargo. Let's do the heavy cargo. Um, or the salvage runner. Let's do the heavy cargo. Uh, we'll get up to rank 8. This should be fairly straightforward. You know, it's We don't have to worry about shit jumping out at us or anything. Well, as much as normal. So, Okay, claim to shippy. Time to get our play on. Let's get this play on, as the kids say. Ha! Huh? Alright, we're loading, we're loading, we're loading. Alright. Let's see what happens. And work order. Rail guides, atmosphere regulators, computer terminals, sensor arrays, coolant, fuel, metal, nanocarbon, furniture, and the thrusters. Make sure the light's on. been away from the house or been away from home for a little while had a, a family salvage secured credit deposit. get together that I attended it's nice to see my siblings it's a, a sad thing but you know it's done uh, so let's see what we have over salvage here secured. we got Account some salvage stuff let's see what else is on the outside to get rid of Looks like there's an antenna here we can take care of. Not sure why that noise happened, but salvage deposit accepted. We're definitely in an unpressurized atmosphere, so. Oh, there's that. That'll need to be removed from inside. Let's take a look at the underside. Anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Looks pretty straightforward, so. Be a nice change from some of the ghost ships. They've been a little, you know, they've definitely been trying to kill me. <laughs> Alright, so we got a whole bunch of armor we need to get off. Let's get the armor off, because that's fairly straightforward. Counts towards the metal. We don't have to worry about it decompressing anything. Go ahead and 
that can attach. Okay, so that one's taken care of. Get that in there. Deposit accepted. Uh, that takes care of some of the metal requirement, so. My beautiful bride had a suggestion earlier that I do some how-to videos or some instructional type stuff, and I thought that might be a cool idea, so. Go ahead and give me some suggestions in the comments and let me know what you think and what would be helpful if there's anything I know how to do. I tend to fumble around, but we shall overcome. Maybe I can help other people who are fumbling around. So, Materials deposited. Just, you know, kind of a cool thing. All right, let's see. And... Nope, 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 nope. A little on the... That one up. And let's see, we'll get this side taken care of so we don't have to. That one, and then there's another one. That should take care of those. We'll find out. I mean, it should have been six cuts. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Oh, it needs to go in there. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Give that a little assist. Is this loose? Yes, it is. Sweet. Give it a little help. All right, that should be good. Oh, there's a ship coming in. A big long ship that just blanked out the sun. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, gotcha. Then into here. Take care of that. And that should take care of all the metal. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. And now we have to go ahead and get with some decompressing type stuff. Your lock pressure levels dropping. Let's get the other one. Your lock pressure levels dropping. Okay. Let's start with, can we take care of the... Yes, good, okay. One less thing. That's the airlock there. Little pieces of metals and things. Let's decompress. Well, that's what. Okay, that corridor. Air pressure level decreasing. All right. So now. See how clean we can take care of all this decompression. Air pressure level increasing. Okay. So we got that. The cockpit is. No, the cockpit is also decompressed. Let's. That's all open now. 
Let's see if we got any goodies in here. Ding. It's kind of neat having all the little pieces floating around. All right, so let's see. Where are we at? We are here. That is decompressed there. That is decompressed there. Cockpit is level two. The compartment outside is also decompressed. This is compressed. So let's go ahead and decompress this. Air pressure level decreasing. The door is should be fairly straightforward. So let's see about. That's part of the door, that's part of the door, that's door console. That's this right here, that's aluminum. So let's see if we can burn this away. There's a comp where's it compressed? Something's not, okay, it's compressed on the other side, decompressed on this side. Let's hold on to this and hit this. This should go ahead and vent that. Air pressure level decreasing. So that's decompressed, that's decompressed, that's decompressed. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder, okay. asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage Whoa. quotas. That is all ECUs decompressed. Let's open that. And we're decompressed out there, so let's hit that. Okay, let's go get some air. As you know, air is important. Oxygen reserves are critical. Affordable oxygen supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. And get some keys or repair kits. I mean, all right, cool. So we're still alive. <laughs> Woohoo! 12 minutes into the first episode. Yay, we're still alive. Victory. Okay, so we've gotten a bunch of stuff decompressed here. Let's go ahead and we will decompress this airlock. And we got that. Airlock pressure levels dropping. All right, now then we've got Everything except, let's see, there was something over here. I think it was, is that got open? about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Hmm? Don't cool. bite off more than I you can chew. I think we've Way gotten around. everything safed, which is good. Interesting, they got the little floaty things. You can't pick them up, but you can. All right, let's see about disarming the electrical system. Fuel systems taken care of now. There is a. So we got this over here. Take another quick look and make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, that all looks good. It's kind of nice not have to look all those silly ass. What is that, right? Oh, it's a. Huh, data drive. There is one in here. I guess it's inside the compartment. That's weird. I didn't see it. But we will grab it. Okay. Step one. Electrical system. A little bit safer. Let's go get the others. Alrighty. Okay. Electrical system should be reasonably safe now. And let's see, we've got that taken care of. That's the forward part of the hull. 
Okay, let's start. We'll go ahead and cut some of the stuff on the top so we can get some better access to the inside of the outside of the hull. Less likely to go ahead and die, which is, you know, nice. Alrighty. Things seem to be going fairly well. I've gotten, I'm, I'm, time goes on, I'm continuing to improve at the recording side of this, so hopefully the voice levels are good and all that type of thing. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we got some stuff happening. Get this cut. I haven't seen a lift though. Usually there's a or joist, hoist, hoist. hoist. Um, let's see what's behind that. Oh, there it is. Okay, there is one there. It's kind of weird, you know, to see the these tracks and not see a hoist attached to them. Uh, got another one there. Yep, was up in my travels over the weekend, or over the week, a couple of days away. Uh, my father passed away in January, and he was ex-military, so he was buried at Arlington National Cemetery. So, it was very sad, but, you know, it was cathartic, was a good word. So, we shall overcome. Uh, let's see here now. So we got this, but beautiful place. DC is a very interesting and neat city. I spent a lot of time there growing up as a young kid, very young kid, and spent a lot of time in the museums, for which I'm very happy. So if you have the opportunity, I highly recommend a trip to DC. Uh, the Smithsonian is amazing. So, uh, all right, we've got lots of air, so we should be fine there. We'll go ahead and fill this. Let's go ahead and do this. Get that open. I believe we have undone the latches, so we'll go ahead and see if we can hook this and get it into the processor. Could happen. And we'll save a couple of tethers. those in good there and sh that one should go in cut right on the last second there so I think we're pretty good uh, let's see and so nothing yet um, 950 well no we 677 thou earned so Less the two something, 250, 270, so we came out ahead, which is always the goal. Uh, everything else we're good on, so let's complete the shift. Also, if anybody has any experience with the, the Aquero by Aqua Computer, it's a fan monitoring, all kinds of neat stuff. I have one now and plugged it in, starting to get things set up. My uh, Peregrine, my beloved gaming rig, is going to be going. Uh, closed loop cooling because you know midlife crisis I don't have to worry about killing myself by wrecking it <laughs> so it's something to play with uh, let's see equipment let's and I gotta get a way to I have to put a weight on the I've got a, a you know an arm for the mic um, but the mic doesn't weigh too much so it's I think it's designed for a much heavier mic so it tends to be light so I need to go ahead and get some weight to attach to it that doesn't look like it's going to fall apart or something. I've tried doing a couple of different ideas, but I'm still working on that one, so. Repair. So that's good. That's good. We're good there. We have not recovered any data yet, so let's just continue on with the salvaging. The Arcadian Ambler. Okay, so. Those are taken care of. We should be good. All right, so let's find... Oh, they have names now. Breakers should be removed first. You ain't kidding. 
keep better reach of children. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Coolant powered unit designed to reduce the heat of solar energy. Hmm. Fuel pipe, class two reactor, Titan fission fusion power core, colossal amount of fuel. Uh, will artificial hydrocarbon things going up? Structural walls. You got your structural walls. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and burn some of these out. Get this, the top half taken care of. Safety third. So, as my friend James would say. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll get this off as well, just so it's less things that, you know, something starts getting towed away and I forget to burn through something. Less things that might get destroyed by accident. Okay, so that should now be good. So that's there. Let's cut. Did we get both the airlocks? Yes, we did. Okay. I wanted to make sure the airlocks were properly depressurized before doing anything goofy around here. And let's see, be careful that we don't zap anything by accident, like those fuel tanks. Explosions are bad when they're unplanned. Sometimes explosions can be good. But unplanned explosions are almost universally bad. So, okay, I got this. And let's see how. Let's get this last one cut. We're going to do a little careful. Okay, we got... That cut. Let's see here. I think we got the. Well, let's give this a try. Nope, not yet. We're missing it. We still have a. Or do I? Up. Oh, wait a minute. This one might be doing it. We need to cut it anyway, so we might as well take care of it. Uh, let's see. Did I miss something? What did I miss? Or is it just. It may be uh, pinned in there or something? There's normally two under these ledges. Let's make sure I didn't miss those. It may be these over here, perhaps. Yeah, this probably is. Yeah, this is probably it right here. We get under it, move up, and it's moving now. Good. Alrighty, so that's taken care of there. Let's take a quick look. Okay, let's get this piece of, I think we can get this piece of hull right here off. So we'll get that cleared, which will give us a little bit better room. It's gonna be a little tight because it's gonna be wedged in there. So let's get that taken care of. Slowly but surely. Got that. That's come loose properly. I'll go ahead and grab this one and pull it over to about there. That way there'll be lots of space. We don't have to worry about anything getting in each other's way. Let's get this sensor tower freed. All right. Okay. All right, so we got that. Valuable object process. Is that going in? It looks like it is. You should be fine there. Okay. Let us go ahead and... Uh, where's the end of the sensor tower? We'll grab it from this end. Because one of the neat things about the... And we'll pull it right down about there. Pull it, grab it, takes the spin off, and it will go down nice and smoothly on its own. 
and it's upset because there's actually a piece of uh, it's a piece of aluminum on that mount that it's upset about. So we're gonna grab this, go over to about there. Make sure that's gonna go in. Look like we're in pretty decent shape. Give it some forward movement, and now it should go ahead. There we go. Okay, so we've taken a whole bunch of good stuff already taken. It's taken care of. Uh, we have a rail guide that needs to go into the processor. Let's see. We need to get... Let's see here. We have a airlock console. Put that down in there. And we will grab the... It doesn't look like the hatch is on there. Pull that over. And it should go ahead and curve its way in there. Yep, there we go. Okay. Okay, so that's good. Let's move this piece of nanocarbon out of the way. What is this? So this is one of the... It's still attached somewhere. I see. Yeah, there's a couple of beams down here. Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can yep. cause damage to equipment. Okay, so that should be good. That's now released. Can we pull this up out of there? It doesn't look like it. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the air requirements. All righty, let us see what we get. Too much, too much, too much. Oxygen level stabilizing. Alright. Let's get here. Okay, so we have some... All the crazy music stops. Okay, so we've got this piece right here can go. So let's get this out, which will help clear that uh, equipment rail. And grab that. And we'll put that in like that. Alrighty, let's see if we have got to good. Ah, so I think this should be pretty good. Okay, let's grab. Now let's see here. Did we have anything still attached to this? No, I don't think so. That's why we got that. I wanted to make sure I got that hoist out of there so we didn't. Uh, so we didn't cause any issues. So let's go to that. Put that down there. Take the curve, take the spin off. Whoa, no you don't, no you don't. You're gonna go right over here. There we go. It's sharper of an angle than I expected, but we're on the correct side of the wall now, so. <laughs> it should be good. doesn't get stuck in there we should be good there we go and we needed rail guide as well so that's a good sign this is all titanium so let's get this into the processor as well which is good cool and we've got this airlock which we'll need to go ahead and pull out there's also going to be a uh, Airlock console inside that we'll want to get. And both these need to go down to the barge, so let's get lined up there for that. This isn't light, but it's kind of, you know, it's not particularly right, heavy. Cutter, you got five minutes. And we should be good there. And there we go. Cool. Okay, so your lock's taken care of. That's taken care of. We've gotten a bunch of this ship already side already taken care of. So let's cut some other goodies here. So we can 
go start getting these uh, keels off. Like I think that'll detach that. We've got a keel right here to re un disconnect. And we got a whole bunch of stuff over here to take care of. Kind of makes me think you look at some of these, you know, from a from a role playing standpoint. Like, you know, it doesn't really make sense for a ship like this to have two airlocks. I mean, there aren't going to be that many people trying to get on board at the same time. So this is probably used to be a station hopper that then got turned into a a uh, salvage or a heavy cargo. Which would make sense, you know. Alright, let's see. What do we got? I don't want to risk that. i got to start trying to be more careful about where the sparks go and the heat and stuff, because I've had some issues in the past with that, so... I want to be careful. Got that, got that, got this. This free. We'll get this piece in here taken care of. And then we'll get this one. And this should free up the airlock and the outer panel. And let's see, we'll get this cut and this cut and we'll get this cut what else have we got going on in here I think we're pretty decent those big pieces outside are the the remains of the cut points from the um, the armor plates. Those things right there. Alright, so we got that. Let's go ahead and pull that off. And I think the, these are airlock consoles, so I think they're considered mechanical. Don't want to be in the way. <laughs> that should take care of itself from there. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. All right, so we got that. Okay. Don't want to break stuff. Got a piece of aluminum there. Alum looks like an aluminum hatch of some kind to get rid of. And that should be good. good. Okay. Let's see. Salvage this is aluminum, so that can go into the furnace. We're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bubble on this ship. That should doing up oh, on the rebound. Yay. All right, so let's see. We still have, probably still have some pieces in here to take care of, so let's take a look. Yeah, we got one there. Let's see what else do we have moving around here. Anything important or anything that may go ahead and cause issues? Doesn't look like it, so I think. Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. We've only got 23 seconds left in the shift. We're fine. The shift will end before we'll run out of air. We'll go ahead and cut a few more points here. We won't have to worry about them later. Alright. And there's another one right there. Alrighty. So, what, 1.1 mil earned, and let's see, what did we get? We got the sensor array taken care of, so that's one. So we only need four more work order items in order to get them at rank eight, which is cool. And rail guides, we're almost done there. Metal, we're pretty close there as well, so things are definitely moving along. Let's see where we're at money-wise. Uh, so, here we go. 
so we're 915 mil. Progress is being made. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, any of that type of stuff, like, comment, subscribe, all the rest of those little YouTube n names and phrases and stuff. So uh, stay safe, be kind to each other, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!